Welcome to part one of Beauty and the Beach. I've transferred my drawing to a 12 by 16 piece of light gray velour paper and I have used graphite pencil to make an accurate drawing to reinforce my drawing and also I've used a 6B charcoal pencil to go over the dark areas and mark the lighter areas with a white charcoal pencil. The first thing I'm going to do is place a light coat of 508.5 Prussian Blue all over my horse's face. This is the first layer. We're only going to work on the face and right underneath on the neck. So I've taken my Prussian Blue and I have sanded the short end of it so that I can get into smaller places. rather than the flat side, and I'm going over the horse. Now you can see that my map that I drew with the charcoal pencil and also the white charcoal pencil, that that shows through the blue and helps me to see where my shadows and highlights are gonna be. So I'm going back and forth, making a nice even layer Cross hatching my pastel over the face and the neck. These colors are good for any black animal. They work for dogs as well as black horses. So keep that in mind when you're painting other subjects. I also have a new pastel 305 spruce blue which I'm going to use to go into these ears which are much smaller and my Rembrandt wouldn't fit as easily. So it's almost the same color as the Prussian blue and I'm going to use this to base coat smaller areas and maybe add some details as we go on. I'm going to use my charcoal pencil here to darken some areas and make sure that they're going to show through. I'm also going to use my white charcoal pencil to add some details as well. The mouth line has disappeared so I'm reinforcing that with the white charcoal pencil and the 6B charcoal pencil because I don't want to lose those areas. That's the beautiful thing about this is that the pastel just glides over it. I'm adding a little more blue, evening the layer, and I'm going to add a little bit of the blue into the main area as well. using my 6B charcoal pencil to put in some darks. Just reinforcing those areas right now. We'll, we'll make them darker later.
Now the next color layer I'm going to add for our black horse is 538.5 Rembrandt, which is Morris Violet. This is a beautiful purpley brown color and it might seem odd to you that I'm putting that over top of the blue, but as these colors build up together, they're going to produce a very rich black on this horse. So again, cross hatch over the blue and in the smaller areas use 353 New Pastel, which is Cordovan, to get into the smaller areas. I'm continuing to add that brown over the entire face and you can see that the white charcoal pencil is coming right through that. It's just beautiful. It forms this nice velvety color. I just love it. Here I'm using the cordovan to darken inside the ears where I placed the spruce blue previously. Now the next color we're going to add is going to be 259 Dark Gray. And I'm just using a light layer of that to smooth out the coat. We don't want to add too much pastel to the paper and fill it up. But the gray really helps in this instance. But I am using a light layer of it. And if I see that I need to make the shadows a little deeper, I'll probably go back and use the spruce blue for that. But this is the new Pastel 259, and I'm just going over the entire face with that very lightly. a little more spruce blue to darken some areas around the eye before I go back to the 259. And I'm doing this very lightly. I'm not applying a lot of pressure with my pastels. I'm just actually really just enjoying the process. I've switched back to my 259 dark gray and continually to work down the face, adding the gray color, also adding some in the ears.
Here I'm adding just a touch of cordovan. It needs to be a little browner right in this area where I had put a lot of white charcoal pencil. So I'm trying to tone that down with the cordovan and then I'll go over that with the gray. Working down the face, still using the dark gray 259, darkening in the nostrils, down around the mouth of the horse. Now here I've switched to the Spruce Blue 305 and I'm just going back over certain areas to make them a little bit darker. Here I'm adding the eyes. I'm taking a very sharp black 229 New Pastel and outlining the eyes carefully, following the shape and getting the um, lid as well, and also adding the pupil. I'm going to base coat my eyes with 253 New Pastel Cocoa Brown, the lovely warm brown. I'm going to add some dark to that eye with the 353 Cordovan. It's one of my favorite colors for doing dark brown eyes.
I've gone back to the black, darkening that a bit. And you can see I'm leaving the highlight open. And this is uh, 233 Raw Sienna that I'm using to add the highlight at the bottom and putting a little bit of 211 white over that. I'm using a Conte pencil number seven to brighten up the eye a little bit. Conte pencils work really well in the eyes. I'm adding a little tiny highlight where the sky is reflected in the eye with 235 light blue new pastel. I'm gonna do the other eye exactly as I did the first one with a 229 black and then adding the same colors that we did before. This eye is a little more in shadow, so I'm not making it quite as bright. I'm going to dull down that highlight a little bit with my 229 black. The other side is where the light is, but I am going to add a little catch light in the corner. It just adds such a nice touch. The next coat we're going to add to our horse is black, 229 New Pastel Black. And uh, you can see what a difference that makes. It looked dark before, but now this is really bringing the dark colors and helping our horse to come to light. Use it in the ears. Just going to work down the face with it. Take your time. Get an even application. I'm working down the center and I'm using a little blue as well. I want to get this nice and dark. And so by putting some more blue down and black on top of that, I get a nice mix of color.
is black now. Getting this shadow in. As I work down the horse, I'm concentrating the black in the deepest shadow areas of the face. Always checking with my reference photo. And it's really beginning to come to life. Now I've decided to get it really dark by using a Rembrandt 700.5 right in the center. That is the darkest black I have. And so I am just lightly going over that right in the center and blending that over top. That is the best black we can use. But we don't want to use a lot of it, just upon occasion. And now I'm back to my regular 229 black.
Now I'm finishing up uh, the base coat colors down on his neck. I'm adding that coat of Morris Violet 538.5 Brown underneath his uh, mouth and nose. Then I'll add the gray and the black. I like to use a lot of color when I paint and this is um, we're gonna I'm gonna add these highlights on the sunstruck side this is blue haze number 405 new pastel and I'm using the edge to just add a bit of color it's kind of a medium value as we build to the brighter highlights I like this color very much. And as the edge of my pastel stick gets dull, I rotate it. And so I'm just using short little strokes to put in the color. Now over that, I'm using 235 light blue that brightens it a bit. Just a little bit. Really adds a lot of dimension to the painting. And then over that, for the lightest color, I'm using 249 light warm gray very carefully not too much now I'm going to add this beautiful pink this is 316 Old Rose. I think this will make a nice addition to our painting. I love the color. And what I want to do is take it from the ordinary to the extraordinary by using a lot of color. So I'm just gently adding that with the tip of my pastel. Moving back to the blue haze right now, continuing to go down the center of the face with short little strokes. This is very subtle. Adding a bit of warm gray 249 and also some 235 light blue. Again, very subtle. Here I'm using a little bit of white 211 New Pastel to just add some brighter highlights. I 
going back to the 316 old rose to add a little more pink. I really like that pink. It's a nice um, reflection. I'm using my 229 Black New Pastel to strengthen the darks in the center of the face. Continuing to use this 316 Old Rose to highlight around the nostrils. Now note, I'm only using this on the right side of the horse's face. using a little bit of 235 light blue and I'm just kind of dotting it on and using a lot of black. Shaping the jaw. liking the way this looks. Of course I love working with velour and pastel. This is the Blue Haze 405 that we started out with. So I'm putting some medium value colors on the right side of the horse with that.
I've decided to punch up the color a little bit with a 213 Sanguine, which is really a red. And I wasn't sure it was going to work at first, but I really like the way it blends with the old rose. And if it gets to be too bright, I can tone it down with a blue, which I'm doing here. But I think this is going to be a good color. Sometimes you just have to kind of work it out, the color scheme, and see how it's going to look before you decide to do it. And I like this. Now this is a little bit of 276 buff that I was using before down on the lip, but I don't think I like that so much, so I probably won't use it again, not sure. So back to adding black here. Just getting the values adjusted, deciding what works, what doesn't. Warm gray, and, and going slowly is the number one thing. You don't want to rush it. I'm using a little, I've used several things. I'm using the 316 old rose around the bottom of the mouth, which I liked better than the 276 buff. And as I move around to the left side, I'm going to be using uh, more gray. using a little bit of our 253 over that because I'm not really sure about that color. I think that just using 316 would have worked out better. Here I'm using a more medium gray. This is 239 gray. And then this is, happens to be a sharpened piece of the lighter gray that we used earlier. Which is 249. And shaping that nostril. You can see I added a little bit of that uh, cordovan down at the nostril too. So this is a 239 gray. I'm shaping this side of the horse's face. And around the eye. We're going to use grays and lighter grays all the way up to white on the, this side of the horse's face. Now this is 249. Uh, moving
moving to that on this side of the face. So we move from 239 to 249 and we're just building up those lighter areas of gray. I always keep little sharpened pieces of new pastel around. I don't think I ever throw one away. They all have a good purpose. Now I'm using very short strokes here. So even though horses have a smooth coat, they still have hair. So I'm using short little strokes for the hair. And I'm adding touches of new pastel white over that light gray. Now here I have a piece of Rembrandt 100.5, which is very bright. So just use small touches of that. I'm checking my values and darkening anything that doesn't seem to be quite right. So join me again for part two as we continue working on this beautiful Frisian horse on the beach. If you want to see more of my work, go to kwit.com. Thanks.